At this moment, the Tesla Cybertruck is a machine that is on huge hype. I'm not saying that it's a deception car or something like that, because only a few vehicles are already delivered and it's still too early to say anything, but I'm saying that most of the general concept of what a Cybertruck is about 75% hype at the moment. Tesla's own website and presentation for the Cybertruck certainly contribute to this, with plenty of specs and numbers that have yet to be verified, but there's one claim on there that's worth pointing out because it's so incredibly absurd. You know it's good because it uses the phrase near infinite mass. What? What does this even mean? Let's dig into this madness just a bit. Here's what it says specifically. Rugged strength with the ability to pull near infinite mass and a towing capacity of over 11,000 pounds. Cybertruck can perform in almost any extreme situation with ease. So the Cybertruck can pull near infinite mass? What does that even mean? Near infinite? Infinite is, well, infinite. There's no beginning or end, so how can anything be near? 5 pounds is just as close to infinite pounds as 500,000 pounds is. If you don't believe me, you're welcome to test it yourself and try counting from 5 to infinite and then 500,000 to infinite and tell me which one gets you there quicker. That idiocy aside, what do they mean exactly by pull? I suppose they're implying that the Cybertruck can pull really, really massive things like trains or airplanes or spaceships, but you know what? Lots of trucks can. In fact, those three specific things I mentioned have all been done by other trucks because this is a well-known PR stunt. Look, electric Ford F-150 tows a 1 million plus pounds train. Or here is another one, a Boeing 777F and it's not even a truck, freaking Mini is doing this one. And here is an old Toyota Tundra towing a giant spaceship. Engineer David Tracy even wrote about these sorts of pulling stunts a few years back, where he noted that while many vehicles can do these sorts of performative towing feats, they're not really a useful real-world test of anything. There's a standard for what is, though, and it's the SAE J2807 test that actually takes into account real-world criteria like overheating and handling and braking performance. The sort of pull that Tesla seemed to be referring to with the Cybertruck's absurd claim must be what's known as a drawbar pull, which is the amount of horizontal force available to a vehicle at the drawbar for accelerating or pulling a load. There's a formula for computing it even. Drawbar pull equals to motor torque multiplied by gear reduction divided by radius of drive wheel minus rolling resistance. I suppose once we actually know what the Cybertruck's stats are for all these things, we could compute what its drawbar pull would be. I'm willing to bet good damn money that it's not going to be anywhere close to near infinite mass though. So if you were planning to tow, say, Jupiter closer to your backyard because it will look awesome in the sky when you have cookouts, I think you're out of luck. None of this, of course, is news because it's just physics. What is worth noting is the language Tesla is using here and how it's indicative of a larger pattern. Just choosing to use the phrase near infinite mass, knowing that it's inherently meaningless, but was chosen because someone at Tesla thought it sounded bad or whatever should be a bit of a warning. This is a vehicle that may turn out to be more focused on perception and image than actual utility.